I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. But I you, like you. Come on. To comment on this video, I seen it early this morning. I was kind of triggered. And I said, when I respond to this video, it can't be emotional response, right? It has to be bigger than emotions. It has to be bigger than triggering and shock value. You know, first we want to start off by saying that Kanye West is a billionaire. They, I think in the video they said that he's the richest black man or something like that. Kanye West has made a bunch of good music that a lot of us love. But I, I want to say that none of that shit matters. At this at this very moment, how much money Kanye has, how many records he's made that we love to hear, it matters not. I can go in about so many different things in this video and what he says and how, you know, shit don't matter, doesn't make sense, or, you know, it's, it's just a a grown man crying because he's dealing with his life ills. Some of us have had to deal with prison. We, we had to deal with what we had to deal with as men, right? We didn't get to cry every time. We didn't get to whine. We didn't have billionaire issues, but I can go into that, but that's not even what I want to go into. I want to go into the fact that this man utilized his voice and his platform to talk about Will we, as a, a world, know is probably one of the malicious, most malicious murders in history. We witnessed it. Like we literally witnessed a man executed by a police officer. And he, he told us what we saw didn't happen. You know, he told us that with our own two eyes, we, we watched the video, we heard it. You know, I actually was in the courtroom. I've heard, seen different angles. I heard this man, he said the man said a prayer as a man begged for his life and said that he couldn't breathe and he called for his mother. He, he called it a prayr and he said somebody hit him with venom. To be that insensitive, right? To be, to utilize your platform to be that insensitive to a family, a grieving family who's who who is friends with me. Like these are friends, his you know, Wu is like my brother, his cousins, and these are these are my friends, like really close to, to utilize your voice, again, to speak about someone who's lost their life in order for you to push whatever agenda you have is, is trash. It's, it's not even manly, it's not, it's not respectful, you know. I think at this point you, it's not even. It's not entertaining no more, right? Just like watching watching Kanye no more. It's not even entertaining. It's disappointing. It's like you watching somebody that you once had a level of respect for, that you once thought was somebody, and you watching them completely just diminish everything that they you thought they represented for. Fuck what you know. What, but the reality is, they never really represented it, right? They said, "You see who a person is when they have money." Right, and this is who Kanye is. Kanye thinks he's he's Jesus Christ, and he doesn't care about someone else's feelings. He doesn't care how insensitive it is. He doesn't care that he's lending his voice to white supremacy. He doesn't give a fuck about that. At this point, none of that shit matters. He has his money, he has his agenda, and that's all that matters to him. He is lending his voice to white people who say, that, oh, we could choke them a little bit. They, they should be able to breathe. You know, if you hit them, they, they, can, they can take pain. He's lending his voice to this age-old myth that we can take pain, that you can harm us, and, and we're supposed to. As a matter of fact, that we're not even human beings. Because as a human being, for a man to have his neck, his foot on your neck for nine to eight minutes, eight to nine minutes, and you think he should still be able to breathe is insane. But this is why Kanye, to me, is one of the most dangerous black men in the world. I don't care about your political views. You can have your political views. The reason why your voice is dangerous, 
because we invited you into our culture. We invited you into our world. We thought that you represented us. And you go out into this world as if you represent us. You go out and speak as if you are speaking from the black marginalized community. You go out and speak as if you have ties to the streets and things that we all come from and we've experienced. And then you say stupid shit like this. You get on the platform and you disrespect the family of George Floyd. You disrespect the struggle of black people in America constantly with, with you know, Rosa, um, Rosa Parks didn't free the slaves. Slavery was a choice. All of this shit, you constantly disrespect the reality that black people in America that's not billionaires have to deal with every day. It's a disgrace. It's not entertaining no more. And to constantly continue to give him a voice to say stupid shit like this makes no more sense. You know, anybody else that at, at this point, if, if, if you decide that you want to give Kanye, because I don't think it's nothing else he has left to say that he didn't say. I don't I don't think it's anything else that somebody want to hear from, him, especially in our communities. Kanye has made this decision that he don't give a fuck about us. He don't give a fuck about common black people who have everyday struggles. He doesn't care about that. He has absolutely no feelings, emotional, tied to somebody going through a regular struggle. Kanye is gone. He's no longer the Kanye that we, we once thought he was. And every time that we allow him our platforms, he is doing detriment to us, our society, and our people. And it's sad. And if you, at this point, if you call Kanye a god or you call Kanye a genius... You need to seek serious psychiatric help because you have your own issues. If you're trying to find the hidden message in what Kanye said, it ain't no hidden message. It's no hidden. Kanye is saying exactly what it is. He's a black man with money and the struggles of the regular everyday black man does not concern him. He don't give a fuck. He's telling us these big issues that millionaires have had before he got there. Black millionaires have had before, but ain't doing nothing. Kanye, how many buildings have you built in Chicago that can house the, the homeless? How many, these boys is over there, how many homes in, in, in Chicago are you building so they, they're not shooting and killing each other? You know, how, how many homes are you kill, building so that women don't have to have abortions, right? So, so how, what, what are you building to stop these things that you say is actually the problems in the black community? What are, as a billionaire, as, as quote unquote the richest black man, what are you what are you utilizing your money to do to change the circumstances that are killing our people? You're not doing anything but getting on these platforms and talking and ranting. There's no genius in that. A man who is a billionaire has access to wealth, has access to media and access to everything, and ain't building nothing to change the conditions of his people. You and Candace Owens are doing the same thing. You get on these platforms and talk about black people and do nothing to change. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? You only thing you're doing at this point is disgracing yourself. And you're disgracing your mother and you're disgracing your family and you're disgracing anybody who looks up to you. You're letting your own people down. And I, and I, I, I strongly urge, please, man. He disrespected Breonna Taylor's mother. He done violated legends. Now is George Floyd's family. You know, and I think if we complicit in him desecrating the legacy of these people who lost their lives, who lost their lives at the hands of state sanctioned violence, if we desecrating our people so we can hear Kanye say a bunch of dumb shit, then, then what are we really doing?